Three tumors with board certified neurosurgeon Dr. Jay Jagannath. And apparently these are very common. One in five people develops them, but a lot of times there's no symptoms and it doesn't do anything. So tell us a little bit about how these can be different and, and impact people. Yeah, so the pituitary gland is a gland that's located uh, in the middle of the brain uh, above the tongue and um, uh, uh, behind the nose. And uh, they, it, the, these tumors are usually small tumors that form in the gland. Uh, oftentimes when they're extremely small, uh, people can go through their entire lives uh, without noticing it. And uh, uh, some autopsy studies have shown that it could be as high as one in five people may have one of these tumors and not even know about it and go through their lives without it. Okay, and so there are two types here and they cause very different symptoms. So tell us what they can do. Uh, the two uh, broad categories are tumors uh, functioning tumors, which are tumors that produce hormones. So they're tumors involving the cells in the pituitary gland that make hormones. So a lot of times the symptoms those cause are related to hormone excess. So uh, if it produces extra growth hormone, for example, in kids, uh, you see rapid growth. That's why when you, you, you hear rare cases of, uh, of uh, what's called gigantism, where kids grow extremely tall, six, seven feet by the age of five or six. Uh, a lot of times um, uh, in adults that can cause, uh, in adults the axial bones don't grow long anymore. So when you have extra growth hormone, it causes arthritis in the joints, it causes heart problems, it can cause kidney failure, sleep apnea, so it can cause a lot of health problems. And you say these days it's a little easier to treat these. You go in through the nose to remove them. Yeah, but uh, traditionally uh, um, uh, treatment had been through a, uh, a, a, you know, a cranial approach where you do a, a surgery where you cut open a window in the skull. Um, with evolution, it went through an endonasal approach where you go in through the nose and treat it. And now uh, we've kind of evolved to an endoscopic endonasal approach, which means you go in with an endoscope, uh, which is a tiny camera that goes up through the nose. Uh, and essentially you go in and drill out the part of the skull uh, underneath the tumor. Uh, you find the tumor and you take it out that way. It allows for better visualization of the tumor. It also allows uh, for a smaller scar and, and less risk because you don't have to go through the brain in order to get to it. Right. And you know, you went over the list of symptoms and a lot of those are really common um, for people. So is there anything glaring that people should be looking for um, to know if this might be the cause of some of those symptoms? Uh, a lot of times uh, uh, the symptoms can be vague and that's why people can go through their a large portion of their lives without really knowing what it is. And unfortunately, by the time it, it gets uh, um, identified, uh, the, the signs, for example, in uh, a tumor producing extra uh, cortisol, uh, you have advanced diabetes and health complications from it. So I think the key thing is to follow up with a primary care physician if there is uh, symptoms that are developing. I think routine check of hormone status is important. I think looking at, looking at symptoms such as energy level, uh, libido, which is oftentimes affected when hormone levels are affected, uh, high anxiety, uh, sudden changes in, in, uh, uh, in things like anxiety, energy level, things like that are all red flags that should be watched. And uh, you know, uh, again, one of the more common symptoms that these tumors cause when they grow are visual problems because they compress the nerves to control vision. So uh, if you're starting to notice changes in vision, uh, that is also something that uh, requires attention, uh, particularly if it comes along with these other symptoms. Okay. Okay, great. Thank you so much, okay. Dr. J. Thank you. If you'd like to learn more about pituitary tumors, you can always head to our website, 9 and 10 newscom This Health in Focus is a paid segment.